Hi, everybody. I'm Sonia Bagdaddy. And I'm Darren Kramer, a Democratic candidate fresh off a primary win for a state House seat. is accused tonight of hitting a car, then leaving the scene of the accident. 29-year-old Christina Ayala clinched the nomination Tuesday night, and the very next day, police say she crashed into another car. News 8's Stephanie Simone spoke with the victim's mother. Stephanie? Sonia Darren, the mother is really going through two emotions right now. She says she's angry at Ayala for not stopping to help her daughter. However, she says she's really grateful for the witnesses, the Stokes family, who did. Looking at these pictures, Mareja Porto says she's lucky her 26-year-old daughter, Crystal Velez, survived this twisted, mangled car. Trying to deal. My daughter's upstairs in bed. She's not well. You know, she's her head hurts, her neck hurts, her back hurts. She's in lots of pain. Police say the cars collided here just before 9 Wednesday evening. Witnesses say Democratic State Rep nominee Christina Ayala ran a red light and hit the front of Velez's car. The Stokes family was driving behind Velez. That's when witnesses say Ayala took off. Now, Cherie Stokes, she stayed with Velez to make sure she was all right. But Kenneth Stokes, he tracked Ayala about a half mile down the road. Find a stranger in an accident see the whole thing and then chase a stranger because they know what was done was wrong. That's what's amazing about them and I'm internally grateful for that. We tried talking to Ayala, but all we found was some of her campaign signs and a beat up car. She could have died. That's how bad it is. You know, you know that's how bad it could have been. Thank God it wasn't that. That wasn't the end result, but you just left. And as for Ayala's political aspirations, Porto says... It's poor on you, and it's poor as a rep. If you're representing us as a city, it's poor on you. Now, Ayala told police that she did stop to check on Velez. However, she says a witness yelled at her and scared her to leave. Also, she says she wasn't sure whether or not the light was green. However, she has been charged with failure to obey traffic lights, evading responsibility, and also not having her registration renewed. She has a promise to appear in court. We are live in Bridgeport tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8.